What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going on a hike. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are out in the wilderness enjoying the beautiful nature where the beautiful sunshine going on. Who knows how long it will last. What do I have here? Why is the Bro Tree all season trucking post? This was part of my unboxing freestyle 5 video. Let's go ahead and finally do the product review. I've been meaning to do, I've been waiting for a nice sunny day and today it is it. All right, so this is available on Amazon for Let's go ahead and take a look at what the packaging says. This is all season tracking pose. It's properly wrapped up in this packaging. So you see the Bro Tree logo. It's got ergonomic motor EVA grip, fast lock design, it weighs only 270 grams, tungsten tip, aluminum, aircraft aluminum gray 6061 tracking bows. So it's extendable from 63 centimeters to 135 centimeters and if you convert that to English units that comes to 25 inches to 53 inches each track weighs a lightweight 9.3 ounces 9.5 ounces and that just explains a little bit about this is the instruction manual pretty simple right there let's go ahead and uh, open this up it's got a lot of tie downs that we'll take apart and might as well show you the back it says instructions on how to use the trekking pole and adjust the pole length but it's pretty much straightforward just common sense all right here is how it looks like straight out of the packaging i like the graphite white and black and turquoise light blue color design it says tundra and it's got snow cap mountain on that very nice. It's got a road track, road tree logo right there. Same on the other side. You got this rubberized grip foam handle with with two straps that you can use for more grip. And let's go ahead and take a look at one of the poles and see how it extends. Tungsten carbide tip. If it's a muddy surface or snow, you would use that on a regular dry day. Probably want the cap on. You unlock it and it to extend it and it has these dimensions on here to show you how far it's extended and here is where you want to stop. You want to go you don't want to go beyond that. And to lock it, you would clip it in clay place and then to adjust the screws for Additional height. This is this max height right there. Lock it. And let me step back. Show you guys the compare length. Here is a fully closed one versus fully extended one. So I believe the height of this is good for up to six six people. If you are over six six feet, <laughs> good luck. Here's an additional feature I forgot to cover. In case to, you want to lock the position that you want it, not only do you have to clip it close, but you have to engage this R lock. So it will stop the movement from going down if you are applying force onto it. See how that's sturdy right now? It's locked in place. So according to this recommendation on this picture you want a height up to where your elbow or your forearms are compared to the biceps 
All right, a 90 degrees angle right there. Similar to if you're sitting on a chair, you want to be aligned like that with your leg and your feet. So let's go ahead and adjust that. I'm 5'7", so let's go ahead and adjust it where I'm about where you grip it and it's about level. So about right there. I'm gonna do the same to this one. So I'm gonna demonstrate trying to go up this little steep hill. First without the trekking pose. Show you guys the difficulty level that it would take to go up the hill without trekking pose versus with. First of all, you need a good grip surface. Yeah, I'm not sure my shoes are enough to do that. Also coming down, you have to be careful also so you don't trip or roll down. All right, since the surface is pretty uh, slippery, I'm going to go ahead and remove the rubber tips so we can release. So I can use these tungsten carbide tips. I watch the ease of going up hill by using these. Let's go, Kira. My arm is level. And when I come back down, these trekking boats are going to come in handy when we go on our hiking adventures, right, Kira? All it could, it can be used. All four seasons, it's gonna come handy to go up the slippery, icy surfaces. My only recommendation is the incorporation, of maybe like compass on top, that would help, along with maybe a flashlight for when it gets dark. I think that would help. But once again, Bro Trip hooking up with this awesome product, I'll be putting in great use. Go check out, it's available on Amazon. Take care of yourselves and happy trekking!